Howdy folks and welcome back to this let's play of Stellaris. My name is Nidus and let's load the end of the last save game which we're playing as the digital realm. Now prior to the last episode I was really really dead down or negative about the prospects of our civilization in the long run. And the main reason for that was we were at war with the uh, Tendrakin reclaimers here. They're basically a fallen empire who's basically risen again. Now, we no longer are in that situation. We're at, we're at peace with them again. But I'm kind of having to prepare myself for a new war, I'm, I'm assuming here. And basically, it'll be a war of my own making in this instance. So what am I going to do here to start off with? I'm actually going to go back to my home planet. I set a new focal point. I'm going to remove the focal point from this other fleet because I want to start building a secondary fleet. Um, I've got various different civilian ships here busy. This one I'm going to go for. This one here is the one I'm going to go for. Building up and I'll stop the wider. Is it this one? Yeah. <coughs> this one's here started building a, uh, a sensor platform. Now, sensor platform, of course, complete. is a new thing for me. I have not I haven't built any of those previously. So I'm just going to have to see how that goes, but uh, let's accelerate the clock in the meantime. Oh, we just completed some research. Perfectly focused archimeter. Uh, I'll look at that in just a second. Construction complete. Um, anything useful here? Energy weapon damage? Yeah, maybe that's a useful one. Or shield hit point. Let's go for the shield hit points. <coughs> and let's have a look at their fleet here. Is it force? No, it's not allowing me to upgrade that yet. Let's have a look at the ship design then. I've got beam weight based weapons here. Tachyon maps. Is that still the best? <coughs> it is. I was thinking maybe that newly researched one is in the same arc, but it's not. So yeah, I'm still using the best weapons I can get. At least as far as I can see. Now this one here is a large phase disruptor. And this tree here. And here we got the plasma cannons also on the same tree. Seems to all be okay. Then I got the carrier design here. <coughs> so it's still up to the top. It took the fighters and bombers here. Construction oh, complete. Mm, okay. I'll just leave that as is for the moment. <coughs> of course, we'll be completing various bits on the surfaces here. And I'll be upgrading those. Construction complete. Come along them. Mines. I have started investing more in actual planetary mines recently. Because, yeah, they're quite useful still to have. And I'm actually able to basically choose a new tradition. Build speed is increased and the fire rate is increased. Ooh, putting on borders. already got it probably so that's the only one I can choose here unless I go for a brand new one <clears throat> so let's go for this one here this one's gonna be a fairly long while 62,000 uh, unity points I need a unity I'm only generating at 81 at the moment monthly gain is plus 365 okay so I guess some of the uh, Offshoots I've created are also producing some. Have I got any other things that I can actually do here? Sign ships, automate exploration. Nope, that doesn't seem to do much anymore. Let's just go back to one of my own worlds then and basically then put them into a orbit there, for example, like we're going to do here to assist with the research. <coughs> right. Now, I was basically looking at rebuilding some of the destroyed infrastructure here in this region here. Um, I don't see any destroyed infrastructure left, so I'm looking for the ones with the white numbers underneath there, as opposed to the green numbers. Green numbers, of course, indicate I'm utilizing it. <coughs> if it's in white, it means it's basically uh, unutilized. Is there anything further south, maybe? Anything you can do down here? No, nope, it doesn't appear to be have anything down here. And the same goes for the locations here. I do have a vortex here. I'm going to basically build myself a nice military station here. And I'm going to build myself a snare cloud. 
Mars Station. It's relatively new design, I basically built myself. I will also be building myself a fair number of more core events. I'm going to alternate between these types here. I'm going to basically go here and basically build myself one of each of the battleship types. <coughs> And as you can see, I'm quite yeah, down again on that list. Um, let's have a look at our planet carry list here. Now, new sector is currently giving us 75%, 75%, 50%. This one can give us quite a bit more. <coughs> it's going to cost me quite a bit to basically pick up all of that stuff there. <coughs> In terms of energy, most of these sectors are basically overflowing in energy. This one's relatively poor in energy, but yeah. Uh, I set focuses for them. I should be able to set a focus. <coughs> this one's at the moment financial focus. Should be fine. is one of our vessels, which is fine. I'm not sure why there's any transport ships here, but uh, okay. Accelerate the clock once again. We've got inactive buildings here, which of course would make sense if indeed I am building something that I just don't have the workers for. <coughs> so I'm going to build some robots here as well. Complete. That's the unused building at the moment. <coughs> there's more unused buildings coming. Up and coming stuff. Another mine I'm going to be building here, as well as another droid to go with that. Anything useful I can build here? A loop institute, for example. <coughs> that, of course, causes yeah, government attraction, happiness increase, you name it. So useful stuff, really, for a civilization like ours. At the moment I've got a fleet power of 268. That's basically low compared to where I stood before. I think I stood at 600 something or 700 something earlier. But yeah, I lost that all against those uh, reclaimers, as they call themselves. The strike fleet is here. It's got no orders, but of course that means that because it's there, it's not really a uh, you know, yeah, position where it's going to reduce my energy usage. I'm going to put it back in orbit around this Construction world here. Complete. I'm actually going to build myself an extra wormhole station here. It's because the wormhole station will help me uh, increase my ability to move around. Construction people. complete. I'm going to build another one here. I just want to have multiple of them if I can. Just having one is not really uh, giving me much benefit. Of course, around my core worlds, I was hoping to have them as well, but I don't. So I'm going to build one here as well. <coughs> and here as well. Cool. Still under construction or sensor array, I should maybe call it. The droids are helping out nicely. Taking up shape, taking on shape quite nicely as well. So you can actually see the progress of that construction there. <coughs> the storage limit of energy will be re reached uh, soonish, well, soonish, in a little while. So, one of the things I'll actually be doing here, I actually will be talking to the traders to basically uh, trade in those. Surplus bits of energy for more minerals. Construction minerals, of complete. course, are the basis of any new ships I'm going to be able to build. Construction complete. Again, in terms of uh, ships that I'm building there. D 
These are nicely closing up at the top, as you can see. What's the bottom like? I'm not sure. I can't see the bottom, unfortunately. Construction complete. It is progressing nicely. Starting at 60% now. Construction we complete. Here? Rivalry has ended. Let us end this meeting. Hopeless rivalry. Okay. Let us end this trade. Oh, so they end the rivalry and then form a new rivalry. Interesting. What have we got here? Construction queue has finished. Let's just double check the surface. As you can see, there's quite a bit of construction on the surface here. Lots of upgrades I can do, so let's push those through. <clears throat> 268 in terms of uh, resource generation here. I'm gonna, gonna be able to build another mine here. And I should also be able to build another droid here. Also be able to do some upgrades again. Construction complete. Right, not much going on thus far. Uh, yeah, sometimes you just got <laughs> quieter episodes. And then you got busier episodes. Construction complete. Right, upgrades again issued. Let's issue instructions for the upgrade, I should maybe say. Research four months for this one and twelve months for that one. So we're getting there. Increasing our lifespan by five years has taken a while to basically research. So look at these guys here. Talk to them. We are still a rival. Do I want to basically end the rivalry? We could do. to become their thrall. Hmm. <clears throat> Research complete. Will be forbidden from colonizing. Interesting. There we go. Construction we complete. Go for. Army damage center seems quite useful. Let's pick up that one. Ally entered into a war with the Tandrakians. The combined as Jagun Sons. Of course, that's that bigger one here, isn't it? Combined as Yemen Sons. Oh boy. I did build a nice flower design here in terms of fortress. Where was that again? Where did I build that? Was that. What was this world? No, not that world. It was up here, wasn't it? Yeah, Largo. This one here. What I'm going to do here, I'm actually going to place my feet in orbit around that world there. <clears throat> and we are basically now part of a defensive war here, which is annoying, but okay, what can we do? Still another one up, slightly further up, wasn't it? Was it that world? No, not quite. That's a diligence class station. Closer to the front line, maybe. Maybe. Let's take up this fleet here. Let's actually assign a admiral to there if I can, and I can't because I don't have enough leaders. I need to get myself an extra leader here. <clears throat> I want to fire someone. Who can I fire? Chara Prime is being governed by her. <clears throat> she's old. She's older here yet. Ooh, this person here. I'm gonna dismiss that leader. I recruit myself a nice new admiral. I'm assign that admiral to this fleet here. <clears throat> All right, perfect. New fleet here. That's not the one either. Where's the other flower design? Where, oh where did I place it? Was it here? Nope. That one. 
not quite, but uh, it's got defensive platforms spread out all over there. Uh, it's probably over here. This one. Just do one more recon here. It wasn't this one. That's a bit of a mess. It wasn't this one either. There isn't this one. Why have I got one here? Let's get rid of that. Actually, it's a slow class. But yeah, okay. you know Did it yet? That's not the one either. I'm pretty sure I built at least two, if not three of them. That's the beginning of one. Uh, is that the one? Nope. Why can I not find what I'm looking for? Ah, there it wasn't. Ah, they're right next to each other. Mm. That helps. Um, yeah, let's get down here into the center of that system. That can be upgraded? No. <clears throat> Alright, that one is there. That one is there. Let's move this one back into space here. This one is already in that region, so it's perfect. I don't want to have them near any of my popular population centers. <clears throat> so we're just going to move them away from there slightly. Again, I'm going to call them my rival. Thank you. Gets me lots of benefits here. <clears throat> As you can see, they got an overwhelming fleet power, which means they're yeah, un pretty much unbeatable at the moment. Here, which is good. A lot more of these tiny little ships here. Which are, is an important production system, as you can see. Maybe I haven't actually paid too much attention to the fact that they, yeah, they, even though it's an important production center, I'm not really providing it with all the infrastructure it might need. Defenses. Construction complete. We'll be invading this planet here. Mm -hmm. 
property. Neutronium armor has been researched, which is good. Hull point increase, built speed increase. Of course, go for my flak and such. Let's maybe do that. Let's go for the flak artillery first. They've got lots of small ships that basically can be a, a bit of a pain. So the better I'm actually taking out some of those small ships, the, the better it will be for me. Alright, jumping in a couple of days. Going in system already to deal with them. Alien spaceport engaged. Incoming transmission. Wow, they hit some of my corvettes. Quite strongly. Construction complete. Situation log updated. There. Look at that, they just sent in yet another one. Wow. 12,000 versus like a couple of hundred thousand. Six, five hundred thousand. Hostile fleet engaged. I'm not quite sure. Ooh boy. We're gonna be killed before the actual emergency warp is there. Yep, I just got myself killed. At least got my Admiral killed. <laughs> Alright, but that didn't work. <clears throat> Nine battleships destroyed in pretty much no time whatsoever. Against, of course, their overwhelming fleet size. Recruit a new admiral. Go for this one here. Him or her, the actual new admiral of that fleet. That was bad. <clears throat> one of their worlds is occupied, which is bad as well. Much cooler. We take that pretty quickly. This one's here, the other one's there. Let's get this one into the action there. Blinds and the darkness of the void hides. Only when we will learn to travel faster than light did we learn just how little the light reveals. Today we begin to end this am am amorous, amor amorosis, amorosis of ours. The century area we prepared to build in the Rublor system will one day become a stalwart panopticon, our eye on every star. Cool. Pause the game for a second. Next upgrade is 15,000. So let's talk about them to those traders here. Communicate and I'll basic trade for minerals. Good. Now let's have a look at actually our sectors now. Because because we're at war now, I can actually transport the extra excess bits for only 25% of the regular cost. Just all of a sudden it becomes worthwhile for me to basically speak to these guys again. 
get the excess stuff. As you can see, I can actually build that up right now. So it gives me quite a bit of extra energy in a minute. And of course, my Q here at Terra Prime should be enhanced again. There. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, did I do an emergency jump? I hope so. It does not look like it though. It does not look like it. Ouch. Look at that. into there and just yeah kind of obliterate whoever is there at that point in time <laughs> okay research complete in buildings I can upgrade some of the buildings here Research, shield hit point increase, energy credit increase. Yeah, and I guess at this point we really reach the point where we can actually save away the game and call it a day for the moment. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Well, again, we're at war, but uh, yeah, nothing to be done about that. But uh, yeah, let's see you in the next episode. Take care.